Well, Commissioner, Commissioner Schmidt, thank you for taking your time to talk to us. Uh, first of all, this conference here in Liège, what is the uh, biggest outtakes you take from here? What is the biggest uh, impressions you, you have from this conference? Well, first I would say, uh, uh, which is important, that this is not the first conference. We had a few conferences before. We, we launched finally the issue uh, on, uh, on uh, housing, especially dedicated to homelessness, uh, with the Portuguese presidency. We had then the French presidency, we had the Spanish presidency, and now this Belgian presidency uh, conference on housing, where we, there, uh, a declaration was signed with very precise and, and concrete uh, topics in this declaration. So I think uh, there is a real movement now, and uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is refreshing that um, first 27 member states have uh, a demand for Europe, saying, well, we all know it's not a European competence. Uh, we, we do not question the subsidiarity uh, issue, but there is a need for more Europe here. Uh, Europe can do more, Europe can help us, Europe obviously can finance. And this is, uh, I think, uh, an important step which uh, was taken again here in Liège uh, at this conference. But do you think uh, the housing issues has been too uh, low prioritized uh, during the last couple of years, evolving into a housing crisis you see in Dublin, you see in Madrid and other places? Have we ne neglected the housing issues? Well, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, the fact that we were... Uh, going into a housing crisis were not really acknowledged. Uh, housing had become uh, an investment area sector as any other investment sector. It, uh, we have uh, noticed this uh, finan financialization yeah. of uh, housing, where finally housing is not a right, a place where people just uh, 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 use for living decently, uh, no, it has become a financial asset. And I think this is uh, an, a new awareness that this cannot, this cannot continue, because this is uh, uh, a social issue, uh, this is obviously a social issue. Housing, uh, we see that more and more people are excluded from decent housing. Mm. Uh, we uh, uh, have to pay an, an increasing portion of their income just for renting or for repaying eventually also. And this has been even increased and uh, 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 deteriorated with the increase of uh, interest rates. Uh, and uh, so I think now and we have also a lot of economic consequences uh, because all the money you spend for housing for, uh, for paying your interest back or just for uh, renting. This is money that th does not go into the economy uh, for other uh, purchases. So this has a depressive uh, uh, impact on, on, uh, on internal demand. So, uh, and not to talk about the, the uh, linkage with the, the labor market. So I think uh, now there's an awareness that this housing, housing crisis all over Europe has really to be uh, uh, to be tackled. Where would you point to uh, for good examples for inspiration? I come from Denmark. We have about 20% uh, of the housing in Denmark is non-profit, not just social housing, but also, also non-profit. Yeah. Is that one of the examples you would uh, uh, push forward to uh, well, for inspiration? Uh, I'm not against uh, private investment in housing. I think we absolutely need uh, private investment in housing. But uh, housing cannot be just uh, uh, submitted uh, to the market. And uh, that's why I believe that all the models which uh, precisely uh, have a, a strong part, a strong sector which escapes from purely market mechanism. This is the case in, in Denmark. Uh, this is the case obviously in Austria, in Vienna with a very strong model there. Uh, shows that, uh, well, well, where this uh, approaches prevail, uh, the housing crisis is, uh, is less, uh, uh, less uh, uh, difficult yeah, and, yeah, evident yeah. and yeah, difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that uh, this combination with uh, non-market, uh, uh, non-profit, uh, uh, 
which does not exclude also the market, more market dominated, mm -hmm. but this combination seems to me a very, a very, a very good one. And you just come fresh from Rome and you uh, have been reading, writing on a manifesto for your uh, campaign. And where in that priority is the housing? Yes, housing is a very high priority there mm -hmm. because as I've said, it, uh, the housing crisis is a major social crisis. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about poverty, increasing poverty, when we are talking about uh, uh, increasing difficulties of middle classes, when we are talking about youth, uh, 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 young people who cannot just afford a place, uh, not just students, but also young professionals, uh, because their earning, their income does not allow them to have a decent housing. How can you found a family if you have not the possibility uh, to uh, rent a house or an apartment uh, and, and raise children there? So I think this is a real deep social issue. And this, uh, therefore, for me, it has to be very, very much on top of the, our agenda with solutions which are not only European solutions, but uh, which uh, expresses also our ideas, our concepts, our solutions for one of the major concerns of uh, European citizens. Thank you for your time. Thank you Thank for you. talking to me. Thank you.